It is amazing how something can sit still in a shed and break. It's cool and like. Daco. Look at how unsquare it's running with the track. Gave right up. <laughs> oh. Well, we got our first road trip with uh, Kodiak and Duggo. You so excited? I need a koozie. Yeah, I got you one. Okay. Here. All right, two-wheel drive all the way to Perm, Minnesota. Yeah, Here two, we go. Two-wheel drive in Minnesota. Who, who, who bought this truck? <laughs> it don't sound like such a good idea, but I didn't buy it for winter driving. So these are air ride seats in here. I think you can air up a little bit. So my noise. My door ain't closed. There we go. All right. There Let's we go. go. Long road trip ad. There we go. Belt up. <laughs> Safety first. Poor pheasants are all out here trying to find something to chew on. They're gonna whittle off their bills. Yeah, okay. we've, we've gotten severe cover on the fields and that's really hard for the wildlife to peck through the, peck and dig through the snow and frozen ground. Well, they've been out having to blow the snow back from the edge of the highway. That actually looks like a kind of fun job. Front mount blowers. Oh, the one's a rear mount. Okay. One's got life made and the other guy doesn't. <laughs> He's wondering, what is that coon tail in the front windshield doing? <laughs> Good luck, buddies. This is some crazy areas. We're getting into the what I consider to be northern Minnesota driving, wouldn't you? There's lots lot of, of little trees, lakes, lots of, lots of trees that are over the roads, lake shores. Nice houses. Yes, very nice houses. We should get out more often. Yeah. Just pack my... We should probably put shocks on the Kodiak before yeah, we go on another road trip, yeah, though. It seems to be shocks. missing the shocks and it don't ride. What do you think would have... Why would you take the shocks off of a truck? <laughs> what, what purpose would that be? Look at that. One. Whoa, yeah! Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, so we're enjoying our road trip. There's a lake on each side! <laughs> Things you see. All right, hooking up to our new skid loader trailer. How about this? First time. Oh, and I got it off to the side, of course. What do you got, Dago? Uh, okay, straighten it up. One foot, yep, right there. Oh, side shift it to the <laughs> second. Drive off again. Well, this ain't easy. show you what we bought later get out of here there's lots of traffic in this parking lot it's still cold out neighbors see how our big two-wheel drive truck pulls a trailer on ice yeah maybe we should put a trailer on our trailer that looks like he's got trailer. a lot he said he sells 600, 600 trailers out of here a year uh, i was priced right i like it i can see our skid loader being hauled on this a lot it's all white. Everything's white. Hey, look at this dock. It's got to be a hundred footer. Hey, we got an empty trailer. Should we load it up? I think so. Look <laughs> at it all. More lake stuff. Just what I need. Oh, I got to remember to drive like I'm driving a semi now. Right? <laughs> okay, we are moving some stuff around in the shed. But first, yep, we're testing the tracks. I don't. 
think you can get stuck. All we did last year. The drifts are kind of hard. Too hard. Let's go move stuff. I forgot that this is still... Small. Oh my. So, there are people coming to get the tree spade truck. And it is buried behind everything else in the shed, so we need to move a lot out to get to it. Uh, the, tree the tree spade has been sold, is why they are coming to get it. Chet has plugged this in yesterday, and we gotta move the 9RX, gotta move the Pro Force to get to this big devil, which hopefully starts. truck can get out because the old blue devil here it don't like the cold it will not start we got a charger on it just to help the batteries out that thing we know will not start so we're just moving the big the wagons there's snow coming into the shed it's a good shed we need storage okay we gotta go get the bobcat to move the pro force because we're too lazy to unhook the drain cart which has the hydraulic jack on it so it's literally as simple as it gets Brody, I don't know if they can hear me in there. It's so loud with everything running. Yeah, it's loud. Are you going ditch banging? Gibbard! Oh, what? It's, it's snowing inside the cab. Run the windshield wiper. Oh, nice. Nice. It really cleans up my view. 
17 point turn, not even a turn around, just a 90 degree turn. But we got the turd out of here. It's cold, I love winter, it's beautiful. I love the snow and the vacations somewhere warm. Well, we got everything out. Uh, we are gonna be moving a combine, some other stuff in here that is done. But it is amazing how something can sit still in a shed and break. It's coolant leak. 9RX has got a coolant leak. Combine had a coolant leak too. Stuff gets really cold. It can sometimes start leaking around the uh, rubber elbows where the clamps are. And you just gotta tighten the clamps up a little bit, which usually can fix it. But that massive temperature swing and the rubber uh, expanding and contracting, I would assume is why it starts to leak. So we're bringing this thing in for winter service anyways. Come on. Yep, I know. You don't like to go fast quickly and you barely go fast eventually. Yeah, we love our 9RX, that's for sure. Okay, so we brought this in here quick. Uh, the throw out bearing, uh, we wanted to adjust. It's got a little too much gap, so got it over the pit to do that. That was yeah, you uh, that's a long girl for a tree spade. This thing does move like really big trees. Usually they're hanging off the front. Right now? Yeah, what else is running? Okay. That's just the voices in my head. Okay, we're good. Well, we did a major shop make over here. Combines out, cleaned the floors. Martin was getting ran. This is what, the only tractor that isn't washed yet? I think so. We never blew it off, so. Yeah. It'll be fun. It's got some junk on it, but we're warming it up and then we'll clean it. The big 9530, not sure what we're gonna do with that. It needs a buff job. Uh, I think this thing sat outside pretty much its whole life, so it's very faded, which we can't have. When are you gonna buff it? I don't have the buff tools. I don't even know what you call them, the buffer. We're waiting on one part for this thing and then it's kind of done the excavator so that could this whole setup could go outside and take up less room. We did finish one quad track. Got the next one on the pit. This one's lined up to go on there after that. So we're kind of just hammering through tractors here. Um, one combine's in town being inspected. When that comes back, we'll go through that and fix whatever they find. We'll be done with combines. And then we get planters in here, but that's a ways out. So. We're just gonna work on tractors for now. Well, as you can see, we have uh, made it home in the dark. That's kind of because we made a few stops. We stopped at a dock dealership because we have to build some sort of catwalk down at the Ben site. Well, that took like an hour, maybe more, and then stopped for supper, and now we're home. We're ready to go in. Two-wheel drive, mind you. Two-wheel drive in Minnesota. Two-wheel drive. We barely made her. We should have some studded tires. Look at our brand new trailer. I think half the paint has fallen off because of Minnesota rust. Drove it on the rusty roads. Rusty roads? Rusty. Salt! Salted roads, which causes rust. Yeah, riding with you has got my brain all, you know, dug a fight. There's a lot to think about. <laughs> I've got a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on up here. Uh, overall, he was concerned that this wasn't gonna pull it, but we had her up to 70. Good horsepower, I'm surprised for a pickup motor <laughs> in a truck chassis. That's weird wait, to me. We'll just wait until we got about 15,000 pounds on here and then we'll see what happens. Right. Look at that. It's not cool. Look at this. Nobody knew we were even driving, it's all. Of course it had to start blowing. Let's uh, let's admire what the boys have been up to. They cleaned the whole shop, got all the uh, finished equipment out in the cold storage, and uh, 
brought this pig inside. Look at the snow. Yeah, yeah, that was in a shed, but it leaked snow in there. Oh my. <laughs> Your baby. Poor girl. Moved him around. I'm gonna go look at the uh, Snapchats that we got from Eric. Why? Well, oh, it, yeah. it looks very, very expensive. So we got a Snapchat of Eric. He's been working on quads lately, and so checking bogey wheel oil levels. Obviously right there, that one's good. That one's concerningly low. Good. Not good. Very bad. Very, very, very ugly bad. Docco, look at how unsquare it's running with the track. I've got a spare one of these spoked ones up in the, what I call the chicken coop. Look at that. Just why? Huh? Why do you have to give up on life like that? <laughs> What's the matter with you? You had another friend in there. No, you just gave right up. <laughs> oh, the worst part about that is it's the whole housing and everything. That's going to be five grand. There's no, no doubt about it. I don't know. Let, let's actually, let's let's just hope it's five grand and not worse. I think we saved a part. The seal is still good. <laughs> no. no, that's ruined oh, too. It's ripped. There's it's your problem. That's ruined. your problem right there. It was ripped. No. Oh gosh. Hey. Well, that's disappointing news. Here we're celebrating a new trailer and find more wreck stuff. Fortunately, Dougal was the last one to run that, so you can't blame anyone. You didn't do your pre-trip check. Well, that is, I don't know, I was the guy before me. <laughs> That's what they always say. All right, tomorrow I'll check in with you guys and we'll go over this trailer. Um, it's a trailer, so it ain't nothing too technical, but we'll talk about it tomorrow when it's all melted off. See you tomorrow. And we're back to, uh, a new day. So it started off pretty disappointing. Didn't have any trailer brakes on this new trailer on the trip home, which was pretty sketchy because the roads were icy and it was not good. I spent all day tracing wires, all morning anyways, and I finally found that in one of the connectors, the pin was just a little bit twisted. Pushed it over, now we got trailer brakes. There was nothing wrong with the trailer, it was in a connector on the truck. But we got that fixed, so let's go over a little bit of what uh, this trailer has for features. It is a hydraulic um, tail, which you can run from here. It's got a cord, so you can walk away from it. You can change it to a uh, tongue jack, and you can easily unhook it quickly, effortlessly. Here's maybe the coolest part. We'll be able to drive the Bobcat up on here and raise the trailer up if you so want to be lazy. You can have the remote to run the trailer. That click is the mechanical side of this. It locks in there so that this ain't supported going down the road on hydraulics. Um, Transport, you can put 5,000 pounds on this tail. It will lift 8,000 pounds. There's no way you're ever gonna put 5,000 pounds just on this tail probably because you'd have to have a lot up front, but you can. And I have no idea why you'd ever wanna lift 8,000 pounds, but you also can do that. But overall, pretty excited about this. We're gonna use it for pulling skid loader around. It'll just be easier, more convenient, faster down the road. Then the dump truck, where am I gonna keep the remote that I don't lose it, guys? We'll just set it in here. That's dangerous, I don't like that. Well, for now, it's gonna be right here, which sounds like a bad idea. So, it's got a deep cycle battery in there that controls all that, and it's got a solar panel up on the neck that keeps that battery charged so that when you come to hook up to it, it ain't dead. It did not have a winch mount. This, I believe, goes right here. So 
they uh, got me this. It's a bolt-in one. We'll probably weld it just for something stronger. And then if we want to in the future put a winch on there for winching on maybe a dead vehicle, who knows what, we can. Overall, looked at uh, used trailers, new trailers, and decided on new just because most of the used ones were so rusty and yucky that I didn't even want to go down that road. And this is probably a trailer that I'll probably own my whole life. So, or for a long, long time, I intend on it. So, starting off new. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for this video. We gotta start a new project. Brody's working on the big 9530 maintenance. Having a jolly old time, aren't ya? Just a jolly. Just a jolly. So overall, I think we're road ready besides the shocks that need to be put on this truck. Then we're good. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. We're out of here, Brody.